outside. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Friday today and Friday what day is it? 23rd I think today. August 23rd. A little windy. Oops. Came back to the rush for a ball here in Rapid City. Pretty fancy dancing place actually. A lot of cool uh, shops and everything. And pretty, you know, it's Friday so might as well check it out. Well, that was fun. Just went and hung out to Rushmore Mall right here in the Rapid City. It's so nice to live in an area now where, uh, where I'm so close to a mall and everything. You know, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I, I like that. That works for me. Definitely, definitely does. It has a nice, it's almost like the Columbia Mall in Grand Forks, North Dakota. It has a lot of cool shops and everything. And just Everything and anything you could possibly want. Let's see what time it is. Uh, oh, it's only 3.20. That ain't so bad. Get my seatbelt on. Start driving. Back to the house here. Oh. Well, anyway. It's pretty fun anyway to go to the mall because, you know, I don't have a whole lot of money to spend right now, so I can't could buy everything that I wanted, but I just bought a couple shirts, you know, I need shirts, you know, and especially when it's buy one, get one 50% off, you know, I can't, I'm not going to pass that up, you know, it's not by a long shot, especially if it's something I like, you know, they got, they were selling these, uh, right over here anyway, they were selling these wrestling shirts, you know, and I'm a big wrestling fan, it's all authentic WWE wear that's uh, just been sitting around for a while. Because most of their stuff here is pretty expensive when they, you know, when you order or when you uh, buy from the, you know, buy when it's brand new. Sometimes with some of the stuff they want like 25 or 30 bucks for all the new wear and everything, but it's like, uh, don't have that much money. But uh, good things are definitely uh, happening. I'm not going to say really what yet, uh, what was the good thing that's happening to me anyway, but something good going to happen anyway, job-wise. Uh, pretty excited anyway. If you guys follow me on Facebook, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah, Rapid City is definitely an interesting area. I mean, <laughs> all types of things to do, and, you know, it's just so nice, uh, it's just so nice to be so close to, uh, you know, civilization, and just so close to, uh, you know, to have something to do over there is the theater that I that I've been to a couple times already and that's down this that's up this hill here and, and uh, yeah it's definitely a, definitely a beautiful area no doubt about that I'd be lying to you if I didn't say I didn't enjoy it over here <laughs> I mean coming from where I where I come from and all that my you know where I was born, raised, whatever. This is pretty cool, you know. And I got a job lined up that, uh, you know, I can't really say what it is because, you know, I just can't. But it's just something that's going to take care of me in a more of a way. You know, and it's also a full-time... It's also a full-time position type of job, too. So it's the type of place that will take care of me, you know. You know. Always looking for places to take care of me. Of me, you know, so 
still might do the Safeway job, but uh, but this will this this job that I'm talking about will be my main job. You know, will be the bread and butter of everything. You know? <laughs> so, so yeah, man. Just look at all this. Just look at the view. You know, look at this view here. Of mountains. And normally, I don't think it's supposed to really be vlogging it. Uh, driving at the same time, but I see Shay Carl do it all the time, and he he's never once ever gotten stopped for doing it. And he's you know lives in a bigger he lives in Los Angeles, so. <laughs> but no, I mean really, uh, you know. Well, this is my last video of the summer, by the way, because next week, uh, next weekend for Labor Day weekend, we're supposed to be going to. Uh, now that I live with my aunt and uncle, you know they're they're planning on going to uh, Omaha, Nebraska for like a little vacation. Uh, I was told that it's supposed to be at a place called the Omaha Zoo in Omaha, Nebraska. So that should be, I think that'll be kind of fun. I've never been to Omaha, Nebraska. I've never been to Nebraska ever, you know? And But we're really close. We're not that far away from Nebraska, actually. I guess uh, being in Rapid City, we're pretty much 100 miles to, the, you know, to Nebraska about 100 miles or real close to like Wyoming and real close to uh, Montana and stuff like that, you know. Jeez, look how much this is of smoke. Jeez. Anyway. But yeah, I mean, just real close to all the all the places that uh, are beautiful and stuff, you know. I'm just kind of showing you guys around a little bit because, you know, I was going to go to, uh, and maybe later next week when I or uh, real soon anyway, I'll make a video. Maybe I'll just put it on Facebook or something, you know, of uh, more what Rapid City has to offer. There's this place downtown uh, where Main Street is, because this ain't, over here, this ain't Main Street at all. Not by a long shot. This is just one of the one of the many different places that you can drive by and stuff, but it's not Main Street, though. Uh, Main Street is a little ways away yet. But there's a place that you can go, and you can actually, uh, oh, you, know, you, you can actually, they have like a water thing, you know, where it's like, you know, water, you know, like a little, almost like a little fountain type of thing, you know, which I think is kind of, kind of cool to have, they have over here, but they have like a pop Murphy's over here. They have Papa Murphy's, they have Papa John's, they have Domino's, they have uh, Pizza Hut, Pizza Ranch, Little Caesars, and a bunch of homemade, bunch of, a bunch of like home cooked pizza places and stuff. They have like just about every type of burger joint you can think of. They've got like the Golden Corral over here. They got Kentucky Fried Chicken. They got a lot of different like pawn shops and stuff and ice cream places and just, I mean, it's like, Wow, you know, it is definitely, you know, the name of the town that I live in now is rap called Rapid City, South Dakota, and it definitely uh, lives by its name. It's definitely a rapid city, you know, no doubt about that. I got McDonald's, I got all types of gas stations, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, Wendy's over here, you know, everything, I mean, everything, you know. And it also has a lot of little casinos over here, too, you know. I've been to one casino over here just to spend $10, like, a couple weeks ago I was here. But we were doing some, or maybe it was last week, I don't remember. But it was one of the times, anyway, we, uh, my cousin had to go for a, a chiropractor appointment, so we just, uh, hey, some KFC, Long Gone Silvers. Had Burger King and Taco Bell and Subway and all types of, but we went, while well, he went and got his back checked, looked at or whatever and I went and just had a went to a casino where they I was just looking to get something to drink and then it was a casino that just offered free pop and Peppy's Pizza which used to be called uh, uh, Giggle Bees which I'll probably will go there soon you know it's kind of neat you know but now that I'm here it's like you know my you know next month is September already and my birthday well, the first part of September, you know, we celebrated my Grandma Hubbard's birthday. She turned 70. 
you know, she turned 70 this year, and I turned 30, you know. I tur she turned 70 at the beginning of the year, and I turned 30 at the end of the year. It's kind of a 40-year difference, which I think is quite nice. But, uh, oh yeah, one thing I was going to say about the, about the ball is that, uh, they have a place almost like a nostalgia shop, which, which is connected to a candy shop. A place called uh, the Candy Clubhouse, anyway. And uh, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think it is, anyway. I'm kind of a fool for that type of stuff. Because <laughs> eventually, once I get some money, I'm gonna probably that'll be places where I'll be getting some stuff, cool stuff for myself and some presents for the family, you know, for Christmas time and everything, you know. Oh, yeah. But, no, this is just a, this is definitely just nice over here. Went to the uh, figure 11 slash uh, Smash Mouth concert here the other day, a couple days ago. I have pictures of that on my Facebook page. Uh, got a, a free VIP pass from my uncle, you know. He didn't even have to pay for it. He just got it from a somebody that he works with or whatever, and yeah, it's just, everything's just been going great, you know, people, you know, a couple people have asked, you know, how things have been going, and, and everything's been going great, you know, better than I expected, you know, this has been a, kind of a, a dream, you know, I, I, can't, I still can't believe that I made it here, what's really more impressive is the fact that I haven't really talked about this much, I haven't really made many videos, but the fact that this vehicle here, my Jeep, that, you know, that I used to drive in Minnesota made it all the way here, you know. That surprises the hell out of me, but I don't want to jinx it or anything like that, you know. <laughs> but it did make it over here, and I was really happy about that. Very happy. And I thought, you know, it's Friday today. I got nothing else better to do. You know, I want to go to the mall again, you know. I'm going to try to go there as much as I can, you know. Mostly just to look around, because they always have something cool eventually, and you know, I'm, I live here now, so this is my home, my new home. I have to get used to the, uh, I have to get used to everything, you know, find my barracks and everything, and get used to the area, get used to the town, you know. How can I find my way if I don't go and explore a little bit, you know? It doesn't take, it's not too far away, I mean, we're almost 13 minutes into this video, and we're almost, you know, almost, at, almost home, pretty much, you know. So I'm not that far away from the... Not really that far away from the, the mall and everything. And there's other places that I'll show eventually in other videos, but this is my my last video for the summer anyway, until Labor Day weekend, until we, until I do some uh, show you guys our, our trip to possible trip to Omaha, Nebraska here next weekend. Which, like I said, I'm still kind of surprised about that. We're actually going to be doing that, but they they want to go and, and they want me to come with, so. It's pretty neat, it's pretty awesome. So we got a couple hours until my uncle, my uncle went out and get home, so. But, uh, and I've been helping my uncle Scott, you know, I've been helping him mow, mow grass while I've been waiting for work to come and everything. And, you know, I've been mowing a lot of yards. He has a, a, a yards, yard service, like he works for FedEx, but he has a, a lawn service kind of thing where, like, you know, just basically just mowing yards or whatever, and, you know, but it's more than one, sometimes it's more than one yard a day, you know, it's not always one yard, it's sometimes two, sometimes three, sometimes we'll have three, sometimes we'll have four, the most I've got so far is five yards in three hours, you know, and I just like, I can't believe I'm doing that, but, but five yards in three hours, I think so. But we have help, you know, but just that, you know, I don't know, I guess I got, I guess I got a new respect for mowing, I guess. <laughs> More than I ever had before, because I never used to do it that much. It was really hard to didn't really do that, that often. But, but yeah, so here's more just kind of, I think, what you've seen before, you know, you know, in the other video. But I said I was going to start shooting more on widescreen now, you know, and just because, you know, because I want to, and I don't know why this, this nicer Jeep is slowing down for, I don't know why. But, 
But no, it's, it's still cool though. I mean, it really, really is. All right over there. Oh, okay. Where that Jeep's turning. Right over here. Uh, classic cars. It's a greenhouse that we mow for once in a while. Probably be mowing over here today, tonight, more likely. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it just kind of uh, it's just cool to to be able to to come down here. And I want to say uh, something. You know, I found out a couple couple people that I, well, one person who I was kind of close to passed away. Uh, a couple of weeks ago. Or not tonight, a weeks ago. About a week and a half ago about. Uh, by a friend of Kurt Melby. Who made me the, uh, the logo, the Frank Sons Show logo on my YouTube channel. Uh, very surprised that, you know, that he passed away at the age of 35. Uh, way too young to die. I mean, but I guess he had high blood pressure and he had, you know, had like a violent heart attack or a severe heart attack or something that just kind of killed him, killed him, you know. And he was a young guy that had a big future, big, big, big potential in his life. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just sad because he, I mean, we weren't, uh, you know, we weren't close friends at all, but we were just, you know, I would drive over to the off sales, the local off sales in my hometown of Greenbush. And he was the one that really was happy that I, you know, when I said that I was going to be coming here and living here and everything like that. He was pretty happy about that. He was really happy for me. You know, we were supposed to get together, you know, you know, next year for Fourth of July. He was planning on coming to Rapid City, you know, to visit for a few days, but obviously that won't be happening now. But uh, and then uh, one of my guests on my radio interview or my interview show, anyway, uh, Big Bopper Jr., aka J.P. Richardson. Uh, the son of the Big Bopper, he passed away just, uh, just a couple of days ago, you know. Well, actually, yeah, two days ago, on the 21st, on Wednesday the 21st. So, pretty sad, he was only 54, you know. He also had heart problems and stuff. It's crazy, you know. So far on my show, I've had two guests that have passed away that I've talked to. Uh, the first one was Matt Wade Osborne, who uh, was also about 54 or 55 years old, uh, guy remember as the original Dork and Cloud back in the days of WWF, but about 20 years ago, you know, he was the original Dork and Cloud, and uh, yeah, the Big Bob for Junior, so it's, you know, rest in peace to both of them, and my friend Kurt Melby, Reed Bush, and uh, yeah, I can only imagine what, what his family and all their families are going through, it's crazy, but... Other than that, it's been a great summer. I want to thank all you guys who have uh, listened to all the interviews that I've done with everybody. It's been, huh, it's been great. You know, it really has. I'm very grateful and, and uh, more or less just humbled by the fact that I was able to do something like that. You know, because I will continue my interview series. I'm going to continue it. But I don't know. It's not. I don't know how many more guests I'm going to be able to find because right now I'm kind of in one of those like type of loops where or slumps where you know I've gotten a lot of people to, you know to be on my show and I'm, there's still a few more people that I'm going to have. But I just don't know if I'm going to have be able to talk to you as many as I did the last time. You know, as of August from August second, two thousand twelve to August first, two thousand thirteen, in that whole year's time, I, I chatted with about. 60 different people. About 60 different people. And, uh, pretty much 60 people. And, and uh, so far this month I've had six guests on already. And the last one was a Brian Clark. But he would be the last guest for summer. We still got some people that I'm going to be talking to. Uh, Max Crook, who, uh, they uh, worked for with uh, Del Shannon, who was Del Shannon's like keyboard guy or organist. You know, I like such songs as Runaway and stuff. That's out to Larry. Uh, also, uh, uh, John Belushi's wife, uh, uh, ex-wife, I should say, Judy Belushi, who goes by a different last name now, but, her, but she still kept the Belushi name because you know they never got divorced. He just died. John Belushi died, you know, 
you know, because of drug overdose and stuff back in like what, 1982, I think it was, or whatever. And I found dude, I found his wife's uh, Facebook page anyway. And she accepted my request, and she said, you know, get a hold of her back later, like in the fall. So either in September or October, we're gonna be, I'll be having the honor to talk to her. First female I've ever talked to while doing this little internet show. Most of the time I've been talking to just pretty much all guys and everything, <laughs> which is fine. And then uh, one big guest that we're going to talk to in October, hopefully, as long as everything works, is a guy who wrote the, uh, the Diary of the Kid books. And was, he was a, uh, who inspired that movie, the three movies that came out, the Diary of the Kid series, the author Jeff Keeney. Uh, will be coming on the show sometime in October. So, lots to look forward to. And same thing with uh, James Hampton as well. He's said they'll get back to him like in October or November. He was just busy and going through a lot of stuff. And so there's there's still potential for some big guests uh, this coming season. So it's just uh, it's just a matter of who's who, you know. So anyway, thanks for tuning along and joining me. And. Uh, We'll see you guys again for another, we'll see you guys Labor Day weekend for another great, for the, for the uh, season six of the Frank Sloss Show officially begins as of this cover, as of Labor Day weekend. And uh, hope you guys enjoy all the videos and stuff and go back and watch some of them if you, uh, if you want to go back and take a look at some of them. Anyway, thanks for everything and uh, we're going to enjoy the rest of the summer and uh, yeah. We'll see you again for another great Frankie Soft Show video. Bye-bye.